Hello, my name's Martin Gainsborough and I'm chaplain to the Bishop of Bristol. Imagine the scene. You're in familiar surroundings with people you know. A community group you belong to perhaps, an office or cafe you frequent, even a church. Someone walks in, they're different to you. Maybe it's their religion or colour, their social class or how they dress. They speak. Outwardly we smile, but inwardly we're more guarded, unsure that they belong. Churches are especially bad at this, though it's not unique to churches. We pride ourselves on being open, but in reality there are strict rules for entry, for who we tolerate and who belongs. There's a story in Matthew's Gospel which speaks to these very contemporary themes, but in an unexpected way. Jesus meets a Canaanite woman in the district of Tyre and Sidon. That's in present day Lebanon on the Mediterranean. Now the thing you need to know about the Canaanite woman is that she's a Gentile, which means she's not a Jew. Thus, she's an outsider and she's desperate. Her daughter is in a really bad place. It takes real guts for her to approach Jesus, a woman, an outsider, not a Jew. Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David, she says. My daughter is sick and I know you can help. But strangely, Jesus ignores her. And then, even more surprising, he insults her. I'm here to feed the people of Israel, he proclaims. Why should I give food to a Gentile dog like you? This isn't the Jesus we've come to expect. So what's going on? In part, this dialogue has to do with the audience the author of Matthew's Gospel has in mind. Probably an early Christian community beginning to reach out to Gentiles, but still with a dominant Jewish presence. The writer of Matthew is asserting to the Jewish majority that it's Jesus who knows how to interpret Torah, the Jewish scripture. Indeed, it's Jesus, he's saying, in whom Torah finds fulfilment. But what interests me is what happens next. From ignoring the Canaanite woman and insulting her, Jesus commends her for her faith. Great is your faith, Jesus proclaims. So why the change? What does Jesus see now that he didn't see then? I like to think that what happens is Jesus has compassion. As the Canaanite woman kneels beside him, Jesus catches her eye and sees not an outsider, but a mother's love for her daughter. Not a stranger, but a fellow traveller. Not so much different, but a shared humanity. That change of perception, that softening of the heart, it's the stuff of which healing and new life and flourishing is made. It's the change which we all need to make. So consider this. Where you are an, outside, an insider who knows the rules, open yourselves up to those on the edge, those who don't belong. For in the kingdom of God, there is no edge, only belonging. Have a great day.